morning all all right so we're going to talk about last night's games we're going to preview tonight's games and remember the preseason is over as of saturday night so we've got wednesday thursday friday saturday and done and of course we've got a couple of regular season games in there too from Prague. so uh last night buffalo beats carolina four to two so i mean is there a big win in preseason kind of a fun one here if you're a buffalo fan uh reese did have a goal for carolina one to keep an eye on uh, Kachetkov saved 26 out of 29 for the Canes as well. Uh, Dylan Cousins had a goal and an assist for Buffalo. Tage Thompson also had a goal and an assist. And Craig Anderson saved 23 out of 25. The interesting thing is going to be they've got Lucan and they've got Anderson, they've got Comrie. In all likelihood, they send Lucan and down, but he's played really well. So, um, I, I like, do you, do you wave Anderson and go with Comrie and Lucan and what do you do? So we'll see what Buffalo does over the next few days. Uh, the Islanders beat Philadelphia in overtime, 4-3. to three. So Philadelphia, the misery continues for preseason. And we'll see how things go during the regular season. Uh, Bailey, a goal and two assists for the Islanders. Dobson scored the winner at 452 of overtime. Uh, Sorokin, 30 saves on 33 shots for him. Uh, for Lawton, a goal and an assist for Philly. And their goaltending, uh, Erson with 15 saves on 15 shots. He has good numbers in the preseason, so... Is he pushing for the backup job? Or if Carter Hart's not good to go, starter. Uh, Grosnick with 14 saves on 18 shots. So one question mark for Philly is, is goaltending right now, right? Uh, but they, they at least get it to overtime. I'd say they got a point, but it's preseason, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Ottawa beats Montreal 5-4. to four. Uh, Giroux with a goal and an assist. Pinto also had a goal and an assist. Forsberg saved 21 out of 25. And Ottawa might be a team that has to win a lot of games 5-3, to 5-4 to four this year. We'll see how things go. But it, it does feel like Ottawa's going to have an explosive offense, maybe some defensive issues. Should be fun to watch, though. Those teams are always fun to watch. Suzuki, two assists for Montreal, and Montembeau, 18 saves on 23 shots. Slavkovsky did not get on the board, was a minus one. We'll see what happens with Slavkovsky as well. Uh, Minnesota loses to St. Louis 4-2. to two. Uh, Rossi with two assists for the Wild. Gustafson with 23 saves on 27 shots. Butchnevich with a goal and an assist for St. Louis. Levo with two assists as Josh Levo continues to try to push his way onto the roster. And I hope he gets there because I've always been a big supporter of Levo. Uh, Hofer with 15 saves on 17 shots. And Bennington saved all 11 shots that he faced. So win for St. Louis. Good goaltending numbers. And you move along. Uh, Arizona had the game tied. And then seconds later, Vegas gets the game winner. Uh, it was William Carlson with the game winner. I think it was 18 seconds after Arizona had tied it. But Barrett Hayden with a goal and two assists for the Coyotes. Johansson with 24 saves on 28 shots. Amadio had three assists for Vegas. And Zachary Hayes had two goals. Uh, Aiden Hill, busy that night too. Uh, 50 saves on 53 shots. The, the shots at the one point in this game... 33 to 13. That's right. I was at a concert and I was still checking the shots in the games. Uh, LA and Anaheim. Anaheim wins 5 to 4. It'd be funny during a concert. Can everybody be quiet? I'm trying to listen to this, this part of the game. Uh, yeah, Velarde had two goals for LA and a 5 to 4 loss. Peterson saved 27 out of 32. So Peterson's back, but his numbers aren't great. We'll see how he does when the season gets rolling. Uh, Regenda with a goal and two assists for Anaheim. Uh, Derek Grant, a goal and three assists for him, four points. And Stolarz, 32 saves on 36 shots for the Anaheim Ducks. So, the Battle of California continues. And I believe Vegas plays LA tomorrow. So, not that Vegas is in California, I'm aware they're in Nevada. Alright, so tonight we've got two games starting at 7 Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific, beginning with the Boston Bruins and the New York Rangers. The Detroit Red Wings are in against the Washington Capitals as well. Uh, then at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific, the Calgary Flames in against the Winnipeg Jets. At 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, the Dallas Stars and Colorado Avalanche face off again. Uh, Colorado won that matchup a couple nights ago. And at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific, right in Abbotsford where I am, uh, the Vancouver Canucks are at home against the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, from my understanding, the game's not sold out. Uh, I was asked by a friend of mine this morning whether or not it was going, and I said no. Um, my experience with the, the Vancouver games, the two times we've gone to Vancouver games in Abbotsford, it is an absolute nightmare when it comes to parking. So if you're going to the game, my suggestion, get there early. Uh, get there early because there's not enough parking for the number of people that, that get there, un unless the parking was expanded over the summer, but 
to my knowledge, it wasn't. So uh, that is that is one thing that that does drive me nuts is if you are spending 20, 25 minutes trying to get out of a parking lot or you have to park down past the university because there's no parking. And so, yeah, it, it can be it can be rough. So, again, if you're going to that game, get there early. All right, there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And, hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.